welcome to this week's golf equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin, I'm here with Frank Thomas and we're in the Frankly Frog putting studio in Orlando, Florida. Cold. <laughs> you will notice our sweaters. Um, it's going to reach a, a very, very cold 70 degrees high today. It was 47 this morning, so you know that makes it a little bit tough for us. No sympathy from up north though. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I don't blame you. You're still digging out. <laughs> Um, anyhow, we have been receiving a lot of questions with regard to um, temperature and golf equipment. Specifically, Brendan had a question, Frank, with regard to the golf ball and the distance it would travel in colder conditions. Um, Brendan, there are a couple of things you should take into account. First of all, uh, as the temperature of the golf ball decreases, uh, so does the resilience. So the ball is not going to come off the club face quite as fast as it would in the warmer temperatures. Uh, the second thing that we really need to take into account is the air temperature. As the temperature decreases in temperature, the, the density increases and therefore the ball is not going to fly as far. So in combination with the resilience and the air temperature, I would suggest that you take about two and a half yards per 10 degrees change in temperature. So at 40 degrees compared to, to 90 degrees, you're talking about about 12 yards difference in distance. So take out a club or a club and a half uh, for those, those uh, cold, uh, cold days. But also, you know, you also got to consider your body temperature too. You're not going to quite swing quite as, as, as well. Your, your range of motion will be decreased. So the body temperature, the ball temperature, and the air temperature are all going to affect you. But as far as the effect on equipment is concerned, that's not going to affect the equipment at all. Right. Very good, Frank. <laughs> well, um, we really sincerely like to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, for the upcoming season. Um, enjoy it, have fun. For those of you who like to leave things to the last minute and enjoy <laughs> the excitement of that, you know, final few days uh, challenge of doing your Christmas shopping, um, we do have some e-gift certificates online, so please feel free to have a look at them and, you know, hopefully that'll help solve some problems. <laughs> Little stocking stuffers. <laughs> exactly, yeah, right. exactly. But, you know, we'd, Frank and I would sincerely like to thank you for all your support this year and we look forward to bringing you some Great information uh, in the new year and enjoy the festive season. Bye.